Uh, please face the clerk, raise your right hand. She will administer the oath. I do. Please have a seat in the witness chair. <clears throat> Mr. Anderson. Can you please state your name and spell your last name? Levi Stumo, S-T-U-M-O. And did you previously work for the Somerset Police Department? Yes. You employed by a different law enforcement agency currently? Yes. So back in July on the 30th of 22, were you dispatched to the uh, stabbing on the Apple River? Yes. Did you respond to the, that bridge area? I did, yes. And did you arrive with some other officers? Yes. Do you recall who they were? Sergeant Farrell and another deputy. And were you, of the three of you, do you know who the first one to head upstream was, upriver? Are you referring to after getting onto the river itself? Yes. Uh, I believe that was me. And did you have body camera on at the time? I did. Let's have a, a may I approach? Yes. What's that labeled as? Stumo body camera. <coughs> Director, I'm going to admit and publish uh, portions. Okay. All right, 42 is received. Go ahead and play the portions you wish to show. While I'm doing this, um, did, you, did you, after you were at the scene of the stabbings, did you go out to another location also? Correct. What was the second location? The village park. What did you end up going there for? Um, to assist with uh, apprehending the suspect if he was located at that location. And Village Park, is that the exit for the tubers? Correct. screen looks um, uh, I'm on a minute 54 seconds if we would have watched earlier it'd just be you driving to the scene that is correct This is playing. Is this that private Correct. road for an old campground? Open down the river. Yes, it is. I 
Robin. Oh, oh, there's two down there. We have to take the river down. <laughs> he punched me in the face. I don't know what the fuck. We got someone who can't move. Go help him. Please. We're, we're going to help. We got a gentleman down there. He's just got to run in the fucking open. Okay. Stopping at three minutes thirty seconds. I'm gonna jump ahead. I'm gonna mute the screen, please. All right, I'm ready. I'm going to play from 4 minutes, 29 seconds. He, uh, he might be dead by now. How far at? right there by the Three down there? We got three individuals down the river. Significant stabbing. Okay, how deep? Uh, Not deep? It's, it's, All right. it's, it's bleeding bad. The person's balls are out. He's about to lose consciousness. All right. They're doing CPR on the one who's going to stop. Right here. The one. Is he on the other side of the river? No, no, no. Right, right there. Right down there. Right there. Right there. Yeah. They're right next to each other. All right, you want to help me out here? Yes, sir. Thanks, I'm going to pause at 5.36. That gentleman you just made contact with, you, did you have any idea who that was at the time? I did not. I just want to write down, does it look like 1557 on the bottom <coughs> of the screen there? Correct. That would be 357, is that right? Correct. And... Okay. I'm going to continue playing. Where's the guy? Can't go fast. Nelson. 
Officer, the video showed you um, getting out of the car, walking toward the river. Is that right? Correct. And there's a blonde uh, woman in a blue bathing suit, correct? That is correct. And you body cam uh, captures her, correct? Correct. Uh, and as you know, body cams, you're absolutely able to like take a screenshot of that, correct? Correct. And um, on the body cam, the blonde girl in the blue swimsuit, she's her face is fully visible, correct? I believe so, yes. Were you ever asked to take a screenshot to zoom in on her face? No. Did you ever do that? No. Um, do you aware if anybody else ever did that? No. Um, were you ever, did you ever come back and have contact with that blonde woman in the blue swimsuit? I don't believe so. Um, and again, I, there's a lot going on, correct? That is correct. Um, she wasn't, uh, uh, she didn't have any injuries uh, that you observed, correct? Correct. Um, had she had injuries that you observed, you probably either would have told somebody else, tended to it, or tried to document them in some way, correct? That is correct. That's what you're trained to do as a law enforcement officer, correct? That is correct. In that moment, again, I don't mean to imply I'm critical of you, just you didn't have any awareness that she had an injury, correct? Correct. You didn't observe one, correct? Objection asked and answered. Sustained. You, at some point, and it's not on the, on the video, it stopped, but if we continue on in the video, you move forward, continue up the river. Is that right? Correct. And as you go up the river, you have contact with uh, a couple, a married couple, who's rendering uh, CPR aid to one of the people who's uh, injured, correct? That is correct. Um, you've now come to know that that's uh, Andrea and Robert Beldoza? Correct. Okay. At some point, did you see, um, you were speaking with them, correct? Correct. Um, did you speak with Mr. Beldozo? Correct. And you, did you observe him pick up the uh, a snorkel and or goggles? I don't believe so. Were you the one that collected those? No. Did he tell you about those? No. Did you make any observations of the snorkel or goggle? I did not. Did uh, you speak with Mr. Baldozo about his knife? I did not. You um, want to ask you a little bit about um, the search for the suspect, okay? Sure. You were, you heard different things, or uh, let me take back. You were a part of that, correct? Correct. At some point, right? Correct. At first it was all about rendering aid, correct? Yes. Taking care of people's safety, right? Yes. And making sure you could secure the safety of everybody else, considering you didn't know what was going on, right? Yes. You at some point learned that there were citizens that were looking for the suspect, correct? Yes. And you came to learn that at least one of those citizens had a bat, correct? I apologize, had a what? Had a baseball bat. I do not recall it this time. Okay. Um, when you were at Village Park, were you aware of that? You didn't remember that guy looking around for Mr. Mew with a bat? I do not remember. Um, you certainly remember that there were non-law enforcement citizens that were looking for Mr. Mew, correct? Correct. And did you, uh, you didn't know what their intent was, correct? <coughs> that is correct. You, uh, as a law enforcement officer, wanted to secure the suspect, correct? Correct. Both to keep everybody else safe from the suspect, correct? Correct. As well as to keep the suspect safe from everybody else, correct? Yes. You certainly don't want a lynch mob going after somebody, correct? Correct. And that was uh, probably one of your concerns is that the temperature on that river on that day at that time was extremely high and intense, right? That is correct. Lots of strong emotions, correct? Yes. And when you have a 
and there were strong, intense emotions coming from numerous people, correct? Yes. And you, as a trained officer, were concerned about how those strong and intense emotions from a numerous people could kind of escalate each other, correct? Sustained. You have concerns about the suspect's safety as well as everybody else's safety? I didn't stand it. Did you help in uh, eventually um, finding uh, and handcuffing Mr. Mew, correct? Um, I assisted with the very end portion of that, I suppose. Yes. And he was, fair to say, compliant with law enforcement's requests, correct? Correct. He didn't resist, resist in any way, correct? Correct. Um, at the time, uh, I would imagine you didn't know uh, whether he had a weapon or didn't have a weapon, correct? That is correct. Um, I would imagine when s at some point if you find out somebody has a weapon, that changes things from your standpoint, correct? Correct. Would it be, again, trying to summarize me quick, you're thankful that he didn't have a weapon when you had contact with him? Sustained. Did he have a weapon when you had contact with him? Not that I was aware of, no. Did he have a phone when you had contact with him? I do not recall. That's all. Mr. Anderson? When you were responding to this incident, um, what was your primary concern? My primary concern was the victims on the river. The stabbing victims? That is correct. Were you looking to see if other people had bruises or scratches or slight swelling or anything like that or not paying attention to that kind of thing? Uh, only what was immediately directed to me. Significant injuries? Correct. Nothing else, Judge. Mr. Nelson? No, thank, you. thank you, Officer Stumo. You may step down. 